What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be talking about a lesser known mechanic that isn't discussed too often, and this is the open bolt delay. Now for those that are unaware, some of the guns in this game have an open bolt design, and therefore there is a slight delay from when you pull the trigger to when the gun actually fires its first shot. Now it turns out there's not too many guns outside of LMGs that have this open bolt delay, and I will be talking about every single gun that does have the delay and sharing those delays with you. But the main thing I wanted to talk about in today's video is just how important open bolt delay is when looking at the performance of a weapon. And I also wanted to share why I don't include the open bolt delay in my time to kill values in my videos, whereas many other people do choose to include that. And diving right in, let's first establish which guns have a delay and what their delays are. And we'll start it off with the LMGs, because in the LMG category, every single LMG in Warzone, with the exception of the SA-87 and the Holger 26, has this open bolt delay. And you can see here for this, I am gonna be using data from truegamedata.com. Normally I always do my own hand testing, but when it comes to really small measurements like this, True Game Data is simply the best source because he records at the highest frame rate and does this testing as precisely as possible. And I simply can't get this sort of precision on a console. But as you can see here, most of the LMGs will have an open bolt delay of 67 milliseconds, then the RPD doesn't have quite as much of a delay at 58 milliseconds, and then finally the M60 has a 54 millisecond open bolt delay. Now the only other weapon category in Warzone that has an open bolt delay is going to be in the SMG category, and for this it's only the PPSH at 33 milliseconds, the MAC-10 at 50 milliseconds, the Milano at 58, and then finally the Uzi at 67. And I should also mention here that for any of the Cold War weapons that have an open bolt delay in Warzone, that doesn't apply to multiplayer. There is absolutely no open bolt delay mechanic in Cold War at all. But there you go, those are all the guns in the game currently that have an open bolt delay. Everything else, when you pull the trigger, the gun will fire immediately. And now I wanted to talk about the open bolt delay, how it performs in game, and why I personally don't include the open bolt delay in my time to kill values, unlike many other people out there that will include it. And don't get me wrong, I understand why people like to include that open bolt delay when it comes to their time to kill, because technically speaking, if you're aiming on target and you pull that trigger, if there's a delay between the gun going off, that should probably be added to your time to kill value. I have a few problems with this though, and that is, this doesn't really account for a lot of the situations you'll run into in-game, and it doesn't really accurately represent the performance of a weapon in a variety of situations. Sometimes, like in a situation where two enemies are both aimed down sight at each other on target, and they they both pull the trigger at the same time, one person's using a gun with a delay and the other person is using a gun without a delay, of course that open bolt delay will impact that gunfight and in that particular situation I would consider that as a part of the time to kill. The problem with this though is it doesn't account for a pre-firing situation and this happens very often especially in close quarters. You can hear enemies footsteps approaching and you can hear them about to come around a corner. Many good players at this point will start pre-firing their target which completely nullifies that open bolt delay. It doesn't matter if there's a delay there because you're firing before that person is even visible on your screen and therefore or you've essentially circumvented that open bolt delay. Additionally, another way that you can sort of circumvent open bolt delay is if you get really good with the timing and knowing your gun and which guns have these delays, if you're not already aimed down sight on an enemy player, but you're snapping onto that target and in the process of aiming down sight, you can actually get pretty good at timing when you pull the trigger so that that first shot will fire once your gun is fully aimed down sight and accurate. And I know some people like to hip fire into aiming down sight, and while that works really effectively in close quarter situations, if we're looking at like a mid range or even a longer range fight, that's often not your best bet because you're going to get a little bit of view kick as you're doing that, and therefore by the time your gun is fully aimed down sight and accurate, you're actually not going to be on target and you're going to have to adjust and get back onto target, which will actually end up giving you a longer practical time to kill due to missed shots. So most people outside of super close range situations will want to aim down sight and get on target first, and then pull the trigger. And if you're doing that and you master that timing of the open bolt delay for your weapon, you can once again nullify that open bolt delay and therefore it shouldn't be included in your time to kill if you're able to get that timing right. But finally, another reason I don't like including open bolt delay in my time to kill values is it now creates a mismatch in your time to kill versus the time to die that the enemy experiences from the moment they first take damage. And this is especially important in those situations where the enemy is unaware of your presence until they are hit by your bullet. So especially at longer ranges if you're using an LMG that has a big open bolt delay, if you're shooting at a target that doesn't even know you're there, their ability to react to being shot starts from the moment that they take damage, not from the moment you pull the trigger. 
and therefore including the open bolt delay in your time to kill at that point doesn't really accurately reflect that situation and it doesn't accurately reflect how much time that enemy has to react to being shot. And this is the same reason that I don't include bullet velocity in my time to kill values. If I'm shooting somebody with a sniper rifle, and let's just say it takes 200 milliseconds for that bullet to reach my target, let's say it's a long range snipe, and they have no idea that I'm there. If I hit that headshot and get a one shot kill, I consider that to be an instant kill. That's a zero millisecond time to kill. That's not a 200 millisecond time to kill because I had to wait for the bullet to get there. And that's exactly how it's perceived on the enemy's end as well. They don't have 200 milliseconds to react to being shot in the head. They're dead immediately when that bullet hits them. Now, obviously that 200 milliseconds with bullet velocity is much more exaggerated than like a 50 millisecond open bolt delay, but the same logic holds true for me. So with all of that combined, I hope that explains why I don't include the open bolt delay in my time to kill values when comparing the effectiveness of weapons. However, I also acknowledge the fact that it is important to understand when a gun has an open bolt delay and it's important to know what that delay is so that you can adjust your playstyle and how you approach situations to mitigate the harm that that open bolt delay may cause in a gunfight. I also wanted to mention here that I totally understand why somebody would be tempted to include the open bolt delay in their time to kill values for a weapon. And while I don't necessarily feel that it's wrong to include it, I don't feel like it accounts for all situations and therefore it's not as precise as keeping them separated and being aware of both of those values independently and how they can interact with each other. And at the end of the day here, if you are using a weapon with an open bolt delay, which a lot of people currently are with the Milano, it's great to be aware of this so you can potentially adjust your playstyle. If there's a situation where you hear an enemy coming and you could pre-fire them, it's very beneficial with the Milano to pre-fire that enemy. Additionally, you may want to practice a little bit, maybe just hop into a plunder match or something and just practice on your own, getting that timing right with your preferred setup so that as you're aiming down sight, you also pull the trigger and have it so that the gun will start firing the moment you are fully aimed down sight and ready to fire. If you do this, you can essentially eliminate that open bolt delay and therefore you will experience a faster feeling time to kill. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. I really just wanted to explain my thought process behind this because I have had a lot of people tell me that I'm wrong for not including open bolt delay in my time to kill values. And so I just want to defend my point of view a little bit here and hopefully give you guys a better understanding of open bolt delay and how it interacts with a weapon's performance. Now, of course, I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think about the open bolt delay mechanic in Warzone? Do you think it's a really cool mechanic because it kind of mimics real life in some ways? And it can also be used as yet another balancing factor for a weapon to make it more unique. Or would you prefer it if they just scrapped open bolt delays altogether so that all weapons perform the same when it comes to pulling the trigger? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.